going on, family? What's going on? It's been a while, guys. It's, it's been a while. Um, I don't want to take too much of your time tonight, but um, the Holy Spirit has put this subject on my spirit, and I want to share it with you guys. Um, our subject tonight is how to activate and command your angels. How to activate and command your angels. And I think that, that when it comes to the church, this is, this is knowledge that we need to know about. That we got powerful supernatural beings here to protect us and watch over us and, and, and keep us from harm. I'm gonna start with a scripture. This is um this is uh, Psalms 91, and I'm gonna start at verse 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. That's Psalm 91. It's talking about how when you make um, the Lord um, your habitation, when you make him Lord of your life, um, he sent angels out to protect you. He sent angels out to protect you. And I think that's very powerful. This is Psalms. I'm also going to read you this. This is Psalms chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that feared the Lord and delivered them. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that feared the Lord and delivered them. So, when we become born again Christians, we get a guardian angel. When we become born again Christian, we get a guardian angel. And these angels are sent here to protect us and keep us. Because we are the heirs of salvation. I'm also going to read Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Are not all the angels ministering spirits sent out by God to serve those who would inherit salvation? So once you become a born again Christian, you get a guardian angel. These angels are here to protect you, and keep you, and watch over you. And, and, and help you get to the destiny that God, that God wants you to, to, to get to. So we must be aware that we have angels that walk among us. There are different types of angels. I'm going to get to that in another subject, but we, we must be aware that we have supernatural, powerful beings sent here to protect us and, and to help us get to what God wants to be. All through the Old Testament, all through the New Testament, it talks about angels. And these angels, these angels orchestrated um, miracles for God. They, they went out and worked for God. And my subject is how to activate and command your angel. The way, of, the way to activate and command your angels is by the word of God. you got to say what God said to activate your angel. For example, if, there may, if a disease may break out, like COVID-19, you got to activate your angel to protect you that, that by saying, by his stripes, I'm healed. By his stripes, I'm healed. And that act, act, activates your angel to go to work for you and to protect you. When I... When I Read Psalm ninety one. You gotta you gotta read you gotta read the word, get in it, and 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 and, and pull out of it what protects you. Um, and and these angels move off of off off of the word of God. So we must be aware that we have angels that that's here to protect us, here to keep us and watch over us, and we can put these angels to work to help us get to where God wants to be at. Um, and I want you guys to study about angels. These powerful beings are sent here by God to protect us. And I think we need to know about it. I think we need to be aware of that, that we have angels that walk among us. Um, me, myself, um, I like to think that I have two angels beside me. That's just my belief. My belief is that I'm protected at all, at all times. Um, and, and, and that's just what I believe. As Christians, we, 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 we got to believe that there are angels here to protect us, that encamp around us to get us to our destiny. So you got to be aware that um, you got angels here to protect you. And these angels are supposed to minister to you. Um, and and, they, and they, they are there forever. Once you, be, once you become a born-again Christian and you get an angel, um, he's there forever to protect you and, and to watch over you. So all through the Bible, there are different scriptures about angels. And I want you guys to, to really um, study about them, about their nature. Um, Powerful, powerful, powerful um, subject to talk about. Angels. Angels walking among us. Um, 
And I think that as Christians, we need to know that um, we have protection. That we have an army um, that just by activating them by the word of God, they're supposed, to be, they're supposed to come to our rescue at any moment, at any time. So we must be aware of that. And uh, I just want to share that word with you guys. The Holy Spirit put on my on my spirit to share that with you guys. And I, I really I, I really know that this 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 here is gonna help someone. Um someone needed to hear this. That if you're going through something, just know that you got supernatural protection there to help you get through get through whatever you're going through. And all you gotta do is activate them angels by the word of God, and they're supposed to work on your behalf. How to activate and command your angels. As Christians, every Christian have a guardian angel. Every Christian have a guardian angel. And they are sent here to protect us and watch over us and keep us uh, from all harm. Guys, that's all I got. I don't want to be too long-winded. Um, um, how to activate and command your angels. Make sure you guys go back through these scriptures. I, I, um, I went over. And um, until next time, guys, I love you. Um, you guys be blessed. Um, just let, let's just continue to pray. I think we all need to continue to pray in these times. In in these times, uh, COVID nineteen is still uh, running rapid, but God is still good. God is still good, and 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 we 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 gotta get in His Word and know exactly what the words say because as as as, as citizens of of heaven. That that's our that's that's our that's that's our word to use in our life to 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 get us to where God wants to be at, and I want us to 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 get in it and to be about it. Um, guys, you guys pray for me. I pray for you. Um, I love you. Until next time, you guys be blessed, be safe. I'm signing out.